Amen. You have on your table, it is all about Jesus, the message for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, yes. I, <clears throat> I gave a message last week and I was talking in parable. So if you actually take your time to listen to that message last Sunday, I think the message is still replaying. You will realize that there is nowhere I refer to the Bible or Bible quotation. I just talk, talk. I think today I'm here with a copy of the message which I'm going to deliver for the whole world. So what is to come, that is prophetic word. This is not sermon. I'm not here to preach. And I'm not going to preach. I will look at the paper and I will read for you the way I saw it in the vision. And when I'm reading it, I'll take my time, you know, the area you are vast, I'm not vast there. Don't look at my grammar, look at the content. Thank you. Hallelujah. And it has been very difficult to put this in right the way it is. But I'm going to read it tense by tense, praga by praga and word. So I will read it. The title is a vision, it's a dream. You know, each time I say dream, vision, and I carry paper like this, you remember three years ago, I came out and I was reading paper, and I told her about what will happen to, that is three and a half years, and I said, pray for the president of, God, uh, of uh, Libya. I'm seeing, I don't see president there. And I was reading it. And I say, after that, I'm seeing a revolution again in Egypt. I said it in the paper. That was three and a half years, three years. And I say, the revolution will continue and moving around. I said, it, this is how I carried the paper. Are you talking of Nigeria? What we are facing for the past uh, four years now? I read it and I said, this is what I saw, what has never happened in the history of Nigeria. I say I'm seeing bomb in any form, in all kinds, which we have never experienced. I say it will start. That was four years I read it. And I, I'm good. I want to read this one again. This one is a serious one. So write it in the paper and follow it up. Tell your president all over the world. I'm talking to the whole world. And I, <clears throat> the, 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 I give this title, but the message is here. Carry your youth along. That is the title. Carry your what? Carry your youth along. Because, yes. Carry your youth along. I'm seeing a revolution. I repeat again. I'm seeing what? A revolution. I'm seeing people take it to the streets. At the beginning of that protest, I, I take it to protest again. Instead of revolution, I said protest is a parable. Yeah, because when it started, you think it's a protest. But at the end of the day, you realize that this is a revolution. Protest, you can stop protest, but you cannot stop revolution. Tell your neighbor, protest, you can stop protest, but revolution, you cannot stop. You know, every revolution starts by protest. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. It will come, people carry planka, hey, 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 you say, ah, this protest, you carry police, you carry everything, you stop them. You beat them, you stop them. But when it becomes revolution, everybody are ready to die. So you can't stop. No, I say, at the beginning of that protest, I call it beginning because at the beginning of every revolution, it looked like protest. 
it must it must be stopped at the beginning eventually it will become so big that it cannot be stopped this i see happen nigeria pray all over the world it will move from one country to another the way out God has given us the way out listen to the way out if this paper if possible I will make it available the way out are you there job creation one for the youth and the creation of a new social value system I will explain and the creation of a new social value system not job creation but a creation of a new social value system this is because 90 percent of youth believe that it is by becoming political talks that they could be successful it might become what political talks they can be successful especially take note because those in the political office do not want to retire in politics and become state man you know the reason why every, the youth turn to talks because people the political in the people in the in power in political offices they are not ready to retire and retire and become state man nobody is ready and the youth they are jobless they are supposed to be included in the system because when the people up there are not retire there is no offices for youth new people new intake I'm not preach this will happen no matter the education they have the youth have whether PhD or professor youth they feel they have no place in politics and there is no job to keep them busy this must be there must be a new orientation there must be a new war orientation in politics the youth should be considered for a important position such as assistant to elders i'm talking again in politics the youth the way out should be considered for important positions such as an as such as assistant to, to the elders while the elder are ministers the youth should be junior ministers while the elders are ministers the youth should be what junior ministers this little example of being junior minister can change the situation can change the situation of things tell your president tell your leaders tell your prime minister all over the world revolution is coming in every department of government or politics the youth should be junior assistant to the lead to the leaders to the head of such a department the youth should be what should be junior assistant to the heads of such departments whatever department either chairman of a company or uh, director or administrator that must be junior administrator chairman of the company that must be junior chairman uh, what do you call head of processor that must be junior processor just name municipal that must be junior municipal 
Okay, let's continue. A good example, the chairman of political party of your country could be an elder. Why you should be the junior chairman? The chairman of your political party could be an elder. Why a youth should be the junior chairman under him as, as the second in command? When we say youth, you know what we mean. Among youth, you see professor among them, PhD among them, master degree among them. There is no class of category of, I mean, area of life you cannot find in youth. We talk of 40 down, 40 to 50 years, to 20 years. Even you see 20 years old, a professor. Now, in all appointment into this department of politics, administration, administration, you should be considered as second in command in all appointment in all appointment into department of politics or administration, youth should be considered as well second in command. By doing this, we are training we are training them to take over tomorrow. I take it again. But by doing this, we are training them to take over tomorrow. This is because they are leaders tomorrow. This is a message to the whole world and not only to your country. This is because revolution is a weapon of change that is coming. Revolution is a weapon of change that is coming. This is a vision. I'm not preach and I'm not teach. This is what I saw. You go look at my track record. What I've been saying right from the beginning of this ministry. This is the vision I saw. Revolution is coming when people will take to the street because life has no value anymore to the people. Life has no value anymore to the people. Out there, it has, it has started somewhere. It has started somewhere. I said it five years ago, two years ago, three years ago, is in, in the video and the record. I read it here, and if time permits us, I'll bring all those cases out. And it, some of these have been played on the Manet TV. They are in the archives. If time permits, I will show them. Any nation that will start it now will avert the coming revolution. Any nation that will start it now will avert the coming world, coming revolution. Carry your youth along in your politics and administration, especially in ruling your country. Tell your neighbor, carry your youth along in your politics, administrator, administration, especially in ruling your country. I have said it, none of this will go without being fulfilled. I have said it, none of this will go without being what? 
read about me and my track record. This is the voice of God. I realized that my message right from the beginning of my ministry were never believed until they came to pass. I want you to believe this, to believe this one before it happened. Again, I read again. I realized my message right from the beginning of my ministry were never believed until they came to pass. I want you to believe this before it come to pass. Because it will be disastrous. When we carry the youth along, whenever there is a revolt or situation, they will be available to be readily speak to their colleagues. Because people that are going for revolution or protest, 90% of them are youth. And they would like to hear the voice of their colleagues better than anybody talking to them. If the junior minister come out, or junior chairman come out to talk to the protest, protester, and they know he's a junior chairman, is there to represent them, they will listen to him better than anyone. The youth want to be to be seen oh, okay the youth want to, to be seen themselves represented in every area of life that is the answer to the problem coming god bless your nation god bless the whole world peace be unto your nation those who carry i mean those who cry peace to you take note of that those who cry peace hey there is peace there is peace to you prophesy nothing but smooth things i take it back again those who cry peace there will be peace there will be peace either they prophesying to your nation telling you there will be peace there will be peace prophesy nothing but smooth things those who cry peace to you, victory to you, victory be to you, all is well, unlimited favor, prophesying nothing but smooth things. As sure as God lives, I will tell you why I will tell you only what God says. I take it back again. As sure as God lives, I will tell you, I TB Jotra will tell you only what God says. If I'm hated, if I'm persecuted, intimidated because of my accurate prophet, prophetic utterances, blessed be to God who gives the prophecy. I take it back again. If I'm hated, if I'm persecuted, intimidated because of my accurate prophetic utterances, Blessed be to God who gives the prophecy. Finally, this is the words of wisdom. As truth was older than terror, so it will survive it. It got the start and it will get the race. The day will declare who is in the right and who is in the wrong, says the law.
I take it again. As truth was older than terror, truth is older than terror. So it will survive it. It got the start and it will get the race. The day will declare who is in the right and who is the wrong, says the Lord. The day will declare who is in the right, who is saying the truth, uh, who is saying the first. The, the day will, de will declare. When God gives being to the well, that well becomes alive. Are you with me? When God gives being, B-E-I-N-G, to the word, that word becomes alive. You can speak where without being. When God himself gives beings, being to the word, the word becomes alive. What God says is final. God has all men's heart in his hand and turn them as he places to serve his purpose, contrary to their own first intention. I repeat again. What God says is final. God has all men's hearts in his hand and turn them as he pleases to serve his purpose contrary to their own first intention. God bless you. This is my message to you. Oh, you want me to take it back again? In a brief? Okay, I'll take it back again. But I will not waste time now. I'll just read it briefly. Now, we call the title, Carry Your Youth Along. When we say youth, you know people they call youth. Do you know I'm youth? Because I declare my age, have you? Because I'm declaring my age. I'm youth. Ah, what are you saying? Okay, what will you call me now? <laughs> I'm you too. Okay, because of the white beard, white hair. Okay, next week you will not see that white hair. You will not see it. Ah, uh -uh. I'm youth. Carry us along, including me. <laughs> eh? And stop using our stock. Carry us along. <laughs> I'm youth. You, I mean, you talk of 50 down, 50 year down, 55 is zero down to 2019. Mm. Hardly you see any government, most especially in Africa. You see, uh, at that 50 year to 90 year, in, a, in an important position. Hardly in Africa here. If you see youth, 19 year, 20 year, 40 year, in, as a chairman of the company, you see that he inherited that company from his father or parent. So God showed me this vision, and I'm not reading, I'm not sitting down writing an article. This is not press conference. This is a vision I saw 
after I await just the one I saw three and a half years about Libya, I, I saw about, I mean, Iraqi, I, I saw this, and I said it all, and I said, I mean, Egypt, and I told you about the revolution coming, and Tunisia, I saw it, everything. Go, take your time, please. Go on your internet and type TB Joshua, and take your time to read about my track record when it comes to prophecy. Now, I want to read now. Carry your youth along. I'm seeing a revolution. When I say revolution, I mean every revolution starts by protest. Every revolution starts by what? By protest. When it starts by protest, at that protest, the power can stop them by whatever. Either go on or Guru, they will stop, they have the ability to stop them. But when it becomes revolution, no one can stop revolution. Revolution means everyone is ready to go for it. This is the one we are seeing in other nations all over. I'm seeing a revolution and I'm seeing people take it to the street. At the beginning of the of that protest, I take it back to protest because it's start by protest, which can be stopped. It might be stopped eventually it will become so big that it cannot be stopped this i this i see happen the way out job creation one for the youth and the creation of a new social value system the ideology the idea the, our belief we youth, you see PhD, even a professor today, they, they turn to talk, talkery. They, they talkery, they become talk to the political leaders, professor, because they have no job. They can, you can send a professor to do anything for you, for money, because he has nothing to do. So that new social value system to idea, ideology, our belief, I mean, to change. How, how do we change this? Listen. This is because 90% of youth believe that it is by becoming political tall that they could be successful. Because there is nothing to do. And many have done that toggery and becoming great, famous and rich in it and you youth are seeing them people have done this story and they succeed in it becoming great become rich become popular even at the end of the day they become head of uh, uh, either governor they turn to governor they become a governor they become a chairman they become many story they started by being a story and they later become governor so youth have seen all this they know if that is the only way let, let's join Because those in the political office do not want to retire in politics, become in politics and become state men. If you know, you know the the challenge when people over there are not ready to retire. How can we have intake, new intake, to the system? If I'm talking, let me see your hand. If people over there are not ready to retire, how can we now have a new intake? So it means that people coming, they will turn to become the autogre. The youth fee, no matter the education they have, they feel they have no place in politics and there is no job to keep them busy. There must be a new orientation. In politics, the youth should be considered
for important positions such as assistant to the elders. Why the elders are ministers, the youth should be junior ministers. Tell your president, tell your heads, tell your minister, tell them. In every department of government or politics, the youth should be junior assistant to the heads of such department. A good example, the chairman of your political party could be an elder, why a youth should be the junior chairman under him as the second in command. In all appointment into the department of politics and administration, administration, you should be considered a second in command. By doing this, we are training them to take over tomorrow. This is because they are leaders tomorrow. This is a message to the whole world and not only your country. This is because revolution is a weapon of change that is coming. To pacify these people that I'm seeing in a vision that will cause this revolution. If youth are second in command in every department, when there is protest, they they are the one in protest, 90% of protesters, they are youth. They will come out to say, look, I'm a minister. Let me tell you what has happened. You are the one who appoint me. I'm, I'm appointed to, to represent you, you. So what are we talking? Take it easy. They, they would like to hear from them. This is the vision I saw. Revolution is coming. When people will take to the street because life has no value anymore to the people. It has started somewhere. I say it. Do you, let me give you, let me take you back. It has started somewhere. Take your time after the service. Go deeply and confirm what, is, what was the cause of revolution in those countries. You will know that people up there, they refuse to retire in politics. And there is no opportunity, there is no vacancy for intake. And they realize that uh, these people up there, it's not possible. They look at the year ahead. They know there's no... The person that will take over them has been arranged already. So therefore they know if the revolution is not taking place, there's no, there's no chance for them in the rest of their life. That is just exactly. That these are the cause of revolution. It has started somewhere. I say it, five years, two years, three years, one and a half years. I was here when I was telling you about Libya, and I said the president there, I could not see him anymore. Then there was no revolution there. There was no war. There was no thing at all when I was saying I said, I can't see this, the head of Libya there again. I said, I'm seeing revolution. There are more to say than I keep telling. And I came out the second, third week. I said, it's not, it's not going to end there. I'm seeing revolution in Egypt. I said it here. It was written. And they have not started then. In Iraq then, I was in the church. I said it, that I'm seeing something happen there.
any nation that will start it now will avert the coming revolution. What are, we, are, we, what are they going to start it now? At least every, every offices, every department, every administration, every department, every offices just mention assistant, assistant, minister of this, assistant youth, chairman of this, assistant youth. This, da, 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 all over the world. In every area, you will see the hot will come. And they let them know that these people are appointed to appeal to the youth. Your people are talking, your people want to protest. Can you go out and talk to them? We cannot talk to them. They will not listen to us. Please go and talk to your people. Carry your youth along in your politics, administration, especially in ruling your country. Carry them along. I have said it. None of this will go without being fulfilled because all my way right from the beginning. I've never seen anyone that never came to pass. Read about me and my track record. This is the voice of God. I realized that my message, right from the beginning of my ministry, was never believed until, until they came to pass. I want you to believe this one before it happens. because it will be disastrous. Look at what has happened in our, in our neighboring country, good example, Egypt. Because of the first evolution that happened there and the president was removed, it will take time to organize that nation. Because, I mean, you know what it means, revolution? When, at the end of the day, you are able to achieve remove whatever you want to do to reorganize that nation that's what they are the challenges they are facing now when we carry our youth along whenever there is a revolt or situation they will be available to readily speak to their colleagues. Because those who are protest, 90% of them are youth. They will readily to talk to them. The youth want to see themselves represented in every area of life. God bless your nation. God bless the whole world. Peace be unto your nations. Listen, those who cry peace to you, those who shout peace to you, those who prophesy peace to you all the time, prophesy nothing but smooth things. What you want to hear. Tell your neighbor, smooth me what you want to hear. They will come to you as a ministers, but what you want to hear, they will tell you. And what you want to hear is, all is well. Whereas, nothing is well. Those who cry peace to you, those who prophesy peace to you, those who tell you there is peace everywhere, <clears throat> prophesying nothing but smooth thing what you want to hear ah, everything is alright sir you are trying everything is okay those who 
those who cry peace to you, victory be to you, all is well, unlimited favor, prophesying nothing but small things. Nothing is well. Listen to me. Listen to me. As sure as God lives, I, T.B. Joshua, would tell only what God says. As sure as God lives, I, T.B. Joshua, would tell only what God says. You know, I don't talk all the time. I just come out occasionally to tell you this, if well, an issue I can deal with, pray in my room or my prayer room and avert. I will, I will not bother to tell you. But I don't talk too much. Just If I'm hated, if I'm persecuted, intimidated, because of my accurate prophetic utterances. Blessed be to God who gives the prophecy. This is, I want you to take notes, this paragraph. As truth was older, truth is older than terror. Tell your neighbor, truth. Truth was older than terror. So it will survive it. It got the start and it will get the race. The day will declare the day. The day will declare who, who is in the right and who is in the wrong, says the Lord. That is, the day we are talking about the future, we are talking about the future, that future will tell us who is telling the truth, who is telling the wrong. When God gives being to the word, that word becomes lives, alive. When you say be healed and the person is not healed, it means God has not given being to the word. If you say be delivered in Jesus' name and the person is not delivered, it means God has not given being to the word. Being means life. You know? Word is, is, is a person. Word is a person. When you don't regard word as person, you misbehave. You talk anyhow. So when you talk, you, you talk to a person. A person come out of you. So it's a person that moves. Look, I'm standing. Being, life, move me. But when God gave being to the word, the word move and walk. What God says is final. God has all men's hearts. Tell your neighbor, God has all men's hearts. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Mm, yes. You may own your body. You may own your flesh. You may own your whatever your blood, your flu, you say, ah, this is my blue, this is my, but your heart is in the hands of God. Every, all other part of your body can belong to you. Say, this body is by me, this body is, but your heart owned by God. God has all men's hearts. 
in his hand and turn them as he pleases to serve his purpose contrary to their own first word intention thank you god bless you so the country the the, the the what i'm talking about will start from you don't know but it has started already the next country you don't know but you don't wait until those, that revolution come to your country this is the solution tell your neighbor the revolution has started the next country i don't know it has started what has started cannot be stopped unless we appeal to god and i have told you the cause of this revolution no country can come and cause revolution in your country if you people are not ready it is when you are ready anybody can encourage you to do your revolution in your country when you are not ready no the whole world cannot change you cannot turn you cannot encourage you for revolution if i'm talking to you let's see your hand take, let's take note if you are not ready for revolution the whole world cannot come together and advise you for revolution it is when you people are ready you can listen to anyone any nation any world all over the world to do whatever so therefore i'm telling you the cause of revolution in all over the world this is the cause yes so every department every ministry administrative office head assistant head youth head assistant head youth Minister of this, Junior Minister Youth. Minister of Labor, Elders, Junior One Youth. Chairman of your party, Junior Chairman Youth. All around, once that is done, you have given employment. You have created job, job creation. You have, you have started it and with that the, the job will, will start we are we are looking for a job for you no oh, the easy way to do the job in any nation that is ready to create job for the youth is to change the authority over there minister of the minister of finances elders junior minister of finance youth and let this youth know that we appoint you to to have, to, to to represent your people out there Minister of Petroleum, Junior Minister, Youth. If all these go run out offices, you have created the greater job. They will fight for their colleague. So that is the best way to create job, job creation. And before you know it, the job, when job come in any offices, you see every area will be balanced, that will be balanced. So by saying we started, we want to create million jobs. In my country, billion job. Uh, in another country, trillion job. Who will create? You know, you are, we are wasting our time. That cannot work. Trillion job cannot work. You, who might you want to give job? Who will survive this job? Who will give the right job? Who, justice. But the right job you can create now to appeal to the ominous sign that is coming. There's the coming ominous war. There is a danger, danger is coming. Revolution is coming. To, to appear and overcome this danger. Danger is coming. If you see what I have, I have saw, I have seen in the vision, I started seeing this three weeks ago. Every week, if I close my eyes, ah. To the extent that uh, am I going to join these people? It means that if I, uh, no church,
I've seen it. I could not sleep. When I close my eye, I will see it. If I turn this way, I see it. If I turn that way, I see it. I say, what is going to happen? So if that happened, look at what's happened in other countries where the revolution, has, I mean, began. I will use that word, began. No job, no school. The children, no school, nothing. People begin to run from that country and abandon the country to another country. And for the, such a country to stabilize, yes. So now the right job, tell your president how to create job now by giving a million jobs or three million jobs to country, it will, that will not work fast. Revolution may take over the whole thing. The best way to create job now that it will bring peace and appeal to the youth all over your nation is right all political offices, administrative, department, all over the world, even private company. You government, you have the right to talk to the private owner. The private company in your country, call them to order. Yes, every office, a manager is elders. Do you know manager to be youth? They should call private owner, private businessman, call them to order all over your country, and this is, give, bring them, bring them, bring them. By the time you bring this youth, they will fight for their people out there. Because that spirit is in them. They will do. And they should let them know, we call you so that you can appeal to your people. When there is any protest, you go and talk to your people. That is the best way to create job, job creation. God bless you swear. I'm talking to your country. Tell your neighbor, I'm talking to your country. Tell your neighbor, I'm talking to your country. Tell your neighbor, I'm talking to your country. Thank you, thank you. That is to create job. Let's rise up and pray that God should give our leaders and people in position a hearing heart. A hearing heart. Carry your youth along. Prayer. Prions effectivement afin que Dieu donne à nos leaders un cœur qui comprenne. Abra sus labios y ore por sus líderes para que Dios les dé un corazón que escuche. Ore. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Well, that is a way out. Once this is done, you will see that in form of protest, but it will not turn to revolution. If this is done, you will still see protest, but that protest will not turn to revolution. Because if you don't say anything, you may man of God, what is this talking about? It will happen, you see sign. The sign is protest, but that protest will not turn to revolution. So, right, right now, if any government or any nation started tomorrow and call you, see, but this is what we should do now. Imagine seeing 30 years old, 25 years old, 40 years old, be a minister, assistant, Junior, junior minister to petroleum moving out to address the nation and anytime there's need to, add, to talk the elder should stand up they want to talk to you, let him talk imagine you see them addressing the wall 
what what an encouragement to the youth they have what it takes they have that education you're talking about even they are more educated than our elders when i say more educated than our elder they are exposed to modern day technology our elder, how I many of them can go on the browse on the internet and all that? They don't have time for that. But they have time to can money. <laughs> so please, they are exposed to the modern day. So please, this is what I have seen. This is what I have seen. Please. If you see how the whole thing is my heart, when I live here, I will go to pray. This, every country should have apply this. Because what is happen, what is going to happen, the coming ominous sign is disastrous. Let us. Now, if God gives us a way out, is that the best? The, the way out now, the solution, is that not the best? Is it difficult for our leader to do? No. I don't say anything difficult in it. There's nothing. There's nothing. The only thing that can be difficult for leaders to do is that all these youth, if you call them to join the court, they may not join you to join court. Because people believe in secret court. Many. They believe in secret court to rule the nation. But they may not want to go into court with you. I mean, agreement with you. They'll say no. Many of them, they are fanatic of God. They will not turn. They will say no. Because many youth today, they, they hate fetish eating. They may not even go to, to worship or worship center or church or whatever. But this fetish eating, to go to a witch doctor, go to a balis, carry, pong pong, carry this blood, bath with a blood. No youth in modern day will do that. This is the only thing I believe may be the reason why any leader will not want youth. Minus that, there is nothing difficult. No modern youth today, they are exposed. They don't believe those bathy with the cow blood, goat blood, pig blood, key fowl. Do sure youth cannot, they will never. If you gather 100 youth, 99% of them, they don't believe that. They may not go to church, they may not watch it, but they don't believe all this fetish thing. That is their lie. That is the only reason why it will be difficult for any leader to implement this solution. Because when you gather them, you put them assistant to the assistant to the assistant, you think they want to take over your government. In the process, if you call them to, to, to do hot, or, I mean, to join, swear, they may say, no, I cannot swear. This is not, I'm not taught in this in school. That is the only reason. If not, this is solution out. And I pray. All our leaders all over the world, Africans, Western country, all over. Not only Africa I'm talking about, I'm talking to the whole world. 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 Once again, finally, is the easiest solution God has provided. But the only way, the only difficulty is the youth will not bow for idol or fresh tea tea. they will not bath with the blood they will not want to bath with the goats they will not want to bath with this they will not 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 submit to that so therefore that is the only problem any leader can face if that is out every leader should see this solution as the best way to move forward. Thank you. God bless your nation.
Johnny Clark.